Welcome to Revlog, where uh, Pastor Aaron was was doing a bit of charades yes. uh, yes. with this text. Can can we do charades with this text? Matthew yeah, seven seven. It's sort of like back to the old radio days of, uh, of sound effects. Yeah, yeah. sounded more like a horse knocking. Right? Uh, <laughs> it's, I'm not good at it. I just, but, <laughs> just three words. Writer, uh, it, it is. Yeah. Also, it's the glow. It's from my, my pasty skin. I mean, it makes <laughs> makes things glow a little bit more. It is I, January. It's I, winter. Yeah, I haven't so, ridden you know. right. my bike outside, so I need some, some more sun. Can I get an amen from over there? All right. Amen. Yeah. So beyond charades, and, and we can do some charades here if we want to, but um, so Matthew 7, 7 through 11, mm -hmm. um, significant text here. Aaron, help us get started. Well, this is another one uh, that, you know, we know this so well, but but I think it should make you a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, because it's saying, ask whatever. Yeah. And okay, but, but uh, you know, I know lots of people asking for lots of things, and I myself have asked for things before and not received them. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's the the heart of this because you know this is you get in that prosperity kind of category where you know, just name it and claim it kind of kind of thing, and that's that's danger. Mm -hmm. But but so I mean, what is the heart of this? I mean, G these are Jesus' words: ask, seek, knock. I mean, um, I, I think you know one of the things that I've come to is you know when you are in a relationship with Jesus and when you are seeking what He wants, when you are in, mm -hmm. you are in. In His perfect will, the things that He wants for you are the things that you're going to want. Yeah. So, right. so hopefully, I mean, that, that's it's not just this carte blanche. You know, you know I'd like a Mercedes. So, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes <laughs> Benz? There you yeah. Go. <laughs> you want to sing it for us? Yeah, I, that's a that's, <laughs> that's a VR. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Thanks. Yeah. Category. Yeah, right. Have you done a cover of that song? I have not. Yeah. And also, uh, in breaking news. I'm not going to. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your initial reaction to this text, Brian? I love this passage of Scripture because it, I think it comes at a crucial place in the sermon. It's, um, it's kind of building. It's, all, it's, it's almost like the, the preliminary uh, climax of the, of the whole sermon, which is, I guess we're going to get to it later. I won't spoil it. <laughs> uh, but... Um, he's ramping up and what he says, you know, he's, he's done a lot of, you've heard it said, but mm -hmm, I say, mm -hmm. and it seems that here he's, he's saying, um, he's, he's revealing how, uh, responsive the universe is to, uh, to people because the universe is not the arbiter of all things. Mm -hmm. It's God, mm -hmm. and God's not an arbiter. You know, he, he's, but certainly the universe is not the arbiter of all things. It is not the final word, and so he says, <clears throat> the universe will actually yield to you. You know, be curious about it, um, about people and life and circumstances, and. There's nothing that is set in stone uh, that is going to destroy you. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's it's like the universe is not out to get you. Right. Um, look at the birds and the flowers, and yeah. you know, Jesus. Jesus had to face, as a human being, Jesus had to face these kinds of questions every day. He had to deal with problems and people and so forth, mm -hmm. and he did so by. Being curious yeah. and by exploring and by uh, reaching in and looking for that which he needed, and of course he's the divine son of God as well. But but he tells us, yeah. you know, the universe will yield. It is not something that is just built as a cosmic brick wall for you. Mm -hmm. There are all things are possible. You know, he says later. And when you, you see Jesus walking on water, right, commanding exactly. the wind and the waves, right? right? The, the, the Son of Man is Lord of creation. Right, exactly. Right? And, and, and he says to us as his disciples, right. you will learn how to live mm -hmm. my kind of life. Yeah. Right. Uh, and and so this is how it goes. It's yeah. it's asking, it's seeking, it's knocking. Don't write off something as impossible. Yeah. 
Good. I, yeah. I do like that, the idea of just that holy curiosity. Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 he's given you a mind. He's given you an opportunity, the, the universe to explore. Yes. And, and him as your, not just guide, but him as this, just the, the, um, the one that holds it all. And so it is for you to discover, you know, you, you have but to ask. Right. You have but right. to seek. And, and Absolutely. It, you can stop yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Again, with the sound effects, you can stop yourself. And, and we, I, I am my own, you know, uh, I am my own brick wall oh, yeah. most of the yeah, time. Absolutely. Right. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, what question do you have of this text? I already did. Wait, that was your question? Mercedes Benz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, was that, no, is that in? <laughs> Anybody else there? I know. Uh, my friends all drive Porsches. <laughs> You know, I, I think it's, it's really born out of exactly what you just said, Brian. It's just um, I limit myself in you know, going to God to, to, to mm-hmm. ask and seek and, you know, because you know, he doesn't want to hear that or you know, he's not going to give me that or you know, what, whatever, you know, he doesn't want me to know that, whatever that may be. And you know, am I willing to, to really lean into this and trust the scripture to say you know, he's, he's wanting you to discover what, what he has for you? Mm-hmm. you know? And so you know, ask those things and, and you know, are, am I willing to, to really let go of that brick wall, as you say? Yeah, yeah, and so much of it. Yeah, I mean, both of y'all are right. It's on our own end, right? Yeah. It's, it's us that yeah. get in the way. Absolutely. Um, Brian, what, what question do you have of it, the text? It seems to me that at various points in history, and certainly in the early church, and then maybe in the, maybe in the Middle Ages at the rise of the universities, that the church was the safest place in the world to ask questions. <laughs> uh, and um, mm-hmm. I sometimes it's... You know, we in the modern era, we've invented this thing called sun, the Sunday school answer, right. you know, to a very uh, – and the Sunday school answer is always uh, given in response to a very safe question, you know. But could it be that we as believers could take Jesus at his word and make the church again – the safest place to ask questions. That's my question. That, Could we do that? May mm-hmm. it be so. Yeah. Yeah, and I just think back, um, you know, th- there was a day um, as modern science was being born that that often the questions asked were, how did God do that? Yeah. Right? That's yeah, right. I mean, yeah. early modern science really started, if, if God is... Thinking ordered. God's thoughts after him. As, right. God is ordered something. and intentional, which means our life and creation is ordered and intentional. That's right. And that's really how modern science with birth by a yes. lot of Christians asking those questions. Yes. How did God do this? Yes. Exactly. And, and digging into that. And in, in general, science as a whole has sort of lost that mm-hmm. holy curiosity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Indeed. So that, I'm sorry. No, I go. For a long re- re-vlog, but... It reminds me of, I was in fifth grade, mm-hmm. was in Sunday school. Ken White, God bless you, Ken, was my Sunday school teacher. And I was being a 10-year-old boy and just, you know, well, why? Well, how do you know that's true? And, you know, he was, I mean, man loved Jesus and loved, you know, just, but I was just pushing every possible button. And he left the classroom and went and got the pastor and, you know, and, and you know, brought, brought him in. <laughs> got the big know, guns. Got the big, the big guns. guns. And, you know, I was, uh, I to, was to listen further to your questions yeah. or to shut you down? Yeah, I, I wonder well, what... I mean, I probably needed the shutting down. <laughs> I, I will say in my adult life, I have gone back to, to that home church and I have apologized to him <laughs> because he, because his heart was so right and he wanted so desperately for me to love and follow. Jesus, and so <laughs> I'm grateful for that for him. <laughs> but yeah, so my questions weren't necessarily as if if you ask too many questions, we're calling Chris. Yeah, that's right. So that's yeah. that's <laughs> we would we would love to hear all of your questions uh, if you would comment below. <laughs>